you know, doing. Kel, can, can you just explain the emotion of uh, when you got granted that sixth year? Yeah, I definitely was definitely happy. I think uh, one of the key things that probably made me uh, happy the most was, you know, Coach Ham calling me that morning and telling me. So I think I pretty much kind of, you know, knew it was coming just because I put trust in, my, trust in my coaches and, you know, the trainers and everybody, basically that compliance, everybody that helped me with that. So I just put trust in him, just kept staying in the gym. And then once he called me, I knew it was good. So I mean, the opportunity for, for another year uh, to, to, to get closer to a championship, mm -hmm. I mean, what does it mean to you just the journey to have that opportunity? It's definitely a good feeling, man. Just I, I knew definitely after you know our Elite Eight run uh, last year, I think coming back into the locker room, that was mainly thing on my mind. Like, I got to get back here, man. This feeling is definitely like no other. So I think that's one of the key things that uh, you know we're trying to get back to this year, and that's why we, you know, we grind it out in the gym and just listen to these coaches. Now that you have that taste, Jeremy Terrence was saying that, he, that you guys know what it takes to mm -hmm. get there. You've had that taste. Does it make you more hungry? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, one of the key things with us this year is, you know, we're trying to get back where, you know, where we were before. And just everybody's definitely locked in. Uh, everybody, you know, even all the way to the younger guys and the older guys, just asking questions like, what will we do right here on the defense and stuff? So I think this whole team is definitely locked in and, you know, getting better this season. So, What are you expecting from practice being that, you know, there's not so many new faces this mm -hmm. year? Basically same core of the team. Mm -hmm. 75% of the shooting is bad. I mean, you think it's not going to be so much teaching in practice, more of kind of just take picking up where y'all left off? Yeah, definitely. I think just from what a coach has been saying, it's going to be kind of to the point thing. So I think everybody know what we got to do this year. And I think, uh, like the coaches say, if we get straight to the point, we can, you know, get in here, get our grind in and get out. So I think everybody's coming to practice with a, you know, a mindset to, you know, listen and, you know, how, how's it going to be when we play this type of teams, you know, start working on schemes and stuff right there early. So I think it's great for us to have, you know, all betters and stuff on the team. Mm -hmm. What's it feeling like when you're preseason ranked like up up in the top 15? Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sure it's cool to be able to talk to friends and family back home and be like, yo, check it out. Like, yeah. of course, say top 15 is yeah. where I'm at. Uh, it has, you know, it has its pros and cons. I think uh, kind of, I feel like some people who dwell on that too much kind of get knocked off easy or, you know, quick. But I think we got a group of guys that really don't pay attention to it. And, you know, we're just doing our time in the gym. And whatever happens, wherever they put us, they put us. We're still going to have, you know, uh, you know, an arc on our back. And, like, we got to go get it no matter what, no matter who we play. So. Do you feel that'll make you guys better? Because you're, you're going to probably get everybody. Not, not that mm -hmm. you are, but I mean, you guys will be circled on so many mm -hmm. schedules because you are, you know, a, a ranked team. I think we're still going to have that hunger no matter what. No matter if they rank us, you know, 25 or number one, it doesn't really matter. So I think we're coming into you know practice and games at the same mindset we had last year. Like we got to get back where we were. So. Personally, what was this summer like for you? What did you work on? What did you get in the gym to improve on? Uh, pretty much all around game. I think all the way down to, you know, mechanics. And one of the key things that helped me last year is, you know, doing the simple things better. And I think this is what I did the same thing this, you know, this summer work. So I think just really just keeping everything, you know, a good pace and just working on all around game. You're used to it by now, but does the excitement of the first day of practice ever get old? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I never would have thought I got another one, but yeah, it's definitely a good feeling, man. It just shows how, you know, how it can go by fast and it'll come by quick, so. Anything about Coach Ham any different? I mean, coming off this, I mean, he talked about the, mm -hmm. the bitter taste of last year, but I mean, is he any different? I feel like with Coach Ham, he's going to be the same guy no matter what. He's going to be the same calm, poised guy who's not really worried about too much. And, you know, he's just taking it day by day. And he's just one of them coaches that's going to be chilling no matter what the situation. So. Thank you. Okay.